In this segment, we will look into Hibernate tools. Hibernate tools is basically an Eclipse plugin which helps in uh, doing development when you are dealing with Hibernate framework. So, first to install the Hibernate tools plugin, uh, you go to this help menu and go to install new software and then add the app, uh, appropriate up, update site. So, in my case, I have got this Eclipse Luna. So this is my upgrade site, but if you go to this download.jboss.org jboss tools, you should be able to figure out the update site for your particular version of Eclipse. And uh, then I go to this jboss application development and I should be able to see Hibernate tools. As it is already installed for me, uh, I am not seeing it here. The other way is that just type Hibernate here and uh, it will filter out the Hibernate tools for you and then just click on next and follow the instructions. So I'll just cancel it here. Once everything falls in place, you should be able to see in the open perspective other a perspective called Hibernate. So what I'll do is that I'll click on this and I see this Hibernate perspective. Let me go back to Java perspective. So I'm going to use this project uh, to see that what Hibernate tools can do for us. Uh, this is actually a plain java project which uses hibernate framework it is a maven based project so this is the pom and the, this is the hibernate configuration file so let me switch back to hibernate perspective so the first thing you need to do is that in this hibernate configuration view add the configuration so i'll click on it you see couple of choices here the core is when the project has the mapping of entity to tables using the xml way uh, this particular project is the annotations way, so I'll use this one. If you have the JPA way, you can select the JPA. I'll select 4.0 and then I'll select the project, so annotation project. Uh, so normally it will pick up all the default things here, so need not worry about. Uh, if you have some other locations, you can basically select the configuration file. Uh, also, because my all uh, so here I am using this HSQL DB and uh, this jar is already in the path of the project so it has already it, it's automatically getting picked up for this uh, Hibernate uh, configuration for the Hibernate tools uh, then I'll just say ok and you see uh, I see I get a configuration here uh, I'll open it so here this is the database so it has connected to the database and you can see the table here the session factory so and then you can see the uh, class which is basically mapped uh, to the table and in the configuration this is the entity so it is actually same as to this one and uh, here uh, you have got all the attributes of this particular entity then the other thing we can do here is that there is a mapping diagram which can tell me that how this class is basically mapped to the table so this is the java class this is the entity name and this is the table then let's get to the other interesting things which is hql editor so now i can actually run my hql queries here so i can say select s from student s and run it you see i've got as there are four records i have got four student objects here i can click on each object and i can see the details of that object here you can also see what kind of sql is generated by going to hibernate dynamic sql preview so this is this is a pretty good tool if you want to know that what kind of sql is getting generated down below i can do more things here like putting filters where name like this so, let me just see what kind of records we have got so I have got ISHANA so let me distribute where name like and run it so you see here 
I get the only the records now which has got isna and then the, the wildcard character so it will fetch me all the records then the other thing here we can do is the hibernate criteria editor so you can run criteria queries also here so for criteria queries i have just got a query i'll just copy paste it here and again it's the same query with the where filter and i run it so it returns me the same set of objects here you see i will have the create criteria and i am adding the restrictions here so this is a pretty useful tool and you might want to use it if you are dealing with hibernate development on day to day basis thank you very much